Congratulations. Uh, the tender for your punch is caught. Thank you. Yeah. But uh, what I'm here with concerns, I want to know about um, the game in Phoenix. It was a tough game. They won it. It's not a very good team. Lakers are not a very good team. I was talking about killer mentality. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing that? Did you see it tonight? Or is it something that still needs to be worked out? Uh, still something that needs to be worked out. I saw it at times. You know, I thought we came out in the, in the, to start the game uh, the right way. We took our foot off the gas. I thought we, uh, I thought tonight we let our offense dictate our defense. We had some some bad turnovers um, early in the first quarter, and then they we got them going a little bit, and then we just kind of sputtered around for the rest of the half, but then I thought we came out well in the third quarter. Um, but again, we just haven't you know, put the lid on games very well. And it is a little disconcerting, I mean, a little concerning, but, um, you know, it, we, we got to figure it out, but we also got to get these wins. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I like the way we, we did finish the game out, but we got to be better. You've mentioned taking your foot up, but collectively taking your foot off the gas several times in the last week, two weeks. And you guys are still seven of your last nine, one. Do you, are you happy with where the team is right now, or is it, is it, or how close are you to being that? Uh, closer than we were, you know, mid March probably, um, but still not, not, not all the way there. Uh, I think the, the last step is to play. You know, if we played. Two good quarters in Phoenix, or maybe three or two good quarters tonight. You know, it's got to be three and four. Um, you know, sometimes you're not going to play four great quarters and, and play the way you want, but you can still win and dominate a game playing three three quarters the way you want. Um, so putting a putting a full complete game together is where I want to be. So no, we're not 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 happy, but I'm glad to get these wins. Like so. Blake, you hit four threes for the first time in your career. Are are you still thinking of choosing your spots, or are you just really just whatever comes to you, just take it? Um, just just spacing the floor, you know. And um, you know, if I if I feel like I, I have the have the um, right time, you know, the nice thing about um, our offense is you know, I, I, all my threes are wide open threes, and I'm not really shooting contested people running at you threes like JJ. So. Uh, it's nice when you have the ability to kind of take your time or have the luxury of taking your time. Um, but still still figuring out, you know, picking and choosing your spots. I, mean, I, I think that's a never-ending process uh, unless you're just like a, a JJ type of shooter. But you talk about how concerning it is for you to put, pretty much put it all together at the right time. How concerning is it? Can you guys really put it together when it matters obviously heading into the playoffs um, in those series? Um, I mean, you can't win games in the playoffs playing uh, inconsistently. So it is concerning. Um, you know, I don't, how much concerning? I, I'm not really, not really sure. Uh, I, I just know we can't do this uh, in the playoffs in the games. Because um, every team that makes the playoffs is, is, is a good team and, and knows how to play, knows how to finish games. So we have to be better. Um, but yes, I think we, we, we definitely can get there. We have gotten there. And, um, we're capable of, of, of playing the right way. So, yeah. Yeah, Blake, your 10,000 point has well, had people talk about your place in Clipper history and your place on this team. And what have you thought about? Would you like to spend your career as a Clipper? Would you like to just get one place you play? Um, yeah, I'd love, I'd love my time here, absolutely. But um, my main focus right now is this season. You know, I'm not. Uh, I said this before the season. I'm not. I'm not doing the whole uh, free agency talk. I'm not doing any, any talking about any decision that I can't make right now. Um, so, um, like I said, my main focus is, is getting this team right and moving forward, uh, being right headed in the playoffs. One more follow-up: Is there is there any more urgency? There's always urgency. I know with you guys. Any more urgency here because of all the stuff that happened this summer that you guys are could be together could be together for the last time. Before this team, uh, I think there's, there's been a high level of urgency, um, you know, in the playoffs every year. I mean, we, we know that these types of opportunities and these types of chances don't come around very often, you know. So I, I think there's been urgency. I think, I mean, you know, everybody realizes, you know, everybody knows contracts, um, where where you guys are at in their contracts and all that. It's, it's no different than any other team. So 
Uh, I think if we need that to motivate us and that to give us urgency, I think we're, we're um, in, a, in, a, in a bad place already. So I think our urgency is there and has been there. Uh, you guys are done with back-to-back for the season. You have three days of rest coming up. How big are these days for you? I mean, what are you guys looking to get out of that? Um, they're, they're big. I mean, uh, last, this, the beginning of this week was the first time you know, we had two days in between games since February. So yeah, I thought it was great for us, not just physically, but mentally, you know, just to kind of get out of the gym and, and uh, we get a day of treatment and a day of practice. So uh, these next three days will be huge. You know, for guys that are a little bit banged up, um, for, for us as an offense and defense of working on the things that we need to work on, the little things here and there, actually getting to do it live in practice is big. Um, so we need to take advantage of days, days like this. And they don't come too often, you know, to the season. Blake, congrats on uh, being the first Clipper to score 10,000 points. Um, going back to like losing the lead, we kind of pinpointed when that when that reserve unit, that bench unit comes on defensively, it slips a little bit. You notice Doc trying to insert a couple starters or something with that unit to try to solve that. Uh, is there a way to solve that, you think? And second of all, if that means you guys got to play more minutes in the playoffs, if the leash is a little shorter, are you ready to do that? Yeah, I mean, I think rotations uh, always tighten up a little bit in the playoffs. I mean, not a, there's not a lot of teams that you know, play the same rotations and minutes uh, from regular season to playoffs. So, yeah, I think so. But our, our bench and our second unit is, is very capable. Uh, I know they're a little little disorganized right now with, with uh, Austin being out. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I have faith in those guys. I mean, Raymond, um, Mo, and, and Jamal are very capable. Um, and everybody else will be good. So uh, we'll figure it out. You know, this is only been two games now without Austin. It's always a little weird figuring things out uh, when the guy goes out. Last question. Yep. I'm just curious, with these few days, the Thunder play a couple times, the Jazz play a couple times while you guys are off and at home. Will you be watching those and will you be paying close attention to that? And, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, <clears throat> normally, normally watching games no matter what, even if it's uh, not the end of the season. So, um, yeah, for sure be watching watching those games or keeping an eye. But, uh, Pretty much watch, watch them all and try to watch them as much as I can. But yeah, especially the Jazz, you know, seeing that, that's probably who we're going to match up with. Thanks, guys.